everybody, this is Praxis. If you look down to your left behind you, you see that there is a, a huge drop down here. There's a ladder down there I was using to work on this wall over here. But that, um, that's a fall that nobody here working really wants to make accidentally while we're doing sanding and everything. So one of the things I wanted to do is get kind of a railing up here. Now obviously when the uh, build is done there'll be a railing here. Uh, but I, I, you guys know me, I don't like wasting time doing temporary things and then, you know, doing it for real later. Anytime that I can do, you know, just in one step. That's sort of my preference. So uh, what I wanted to do uh, today, and my dad's been helping me, actually he, he erected this whole thing, is uh, put together the post that is actually going to be here so that I can put a nailer across here and have some kind of a railing so it'll just prevent people from accidentally falling down over the edge. So we've got this in here right now. These are two by sixes. Incredibly gross overkill. In fact, just a, a few minutes ago, I've been working up on these closets. I came up and just saw this thing and it is just, it's ridiculously strong uh, here. But the reason that we use it is because it kind of reflects the rest of the posts that go down through the structure. It bites into the collar tie up there and grabs it easily. Two by fours totally would have worked, but I happen to have a couple of extra two by sixes and it just kind of mirrors the rest of the construction here. So my dad has been putting that together today. As soon as he finishes, we're just gonna put a temporary board across here. And, you know, I don't care about throwing up one temporary board. Um, and, uh, and then we're pretty much done for the day. What I've been working on today is uh, finishing all these closet walls. Again, trying to use up as many of the boards as we have down uh, downstairs. Uh, and I created these extra nailer areas where the boards are gonna kinda come up and over. I realized just a moment ago that I, I need an extra board up at the top of these, just like I have up here, so that the last board can nail in. I just slipped my mind to do it, and I'll just have to put it in and kind of toenail it in. It would have been easier to have uh, fit it in earlier, but I didn't, so I'll just throw it in. But overall, uh, this upstairs is kind of developing. Uh, it's going well. We've got an actual finished post here, and uh, the next uh, step on the stairs here is to do kind of the railing that goes along here, and that's going to be a 2 by 4 top that will kind of terminate right at this post, and then it's going to continue down along here, and then there will be banisters that go up, and uh, and that'll, that'll make that all safe. So things are going well. Met with the plumber this morning. Uh, I, it was a positive meeting. I think that he's a good fit for this. I know he made uh, a little error earlier when he terminated some of the, the pipes uh, at the wrong height. But uh, overall, I think he gets it. He gets what I'm trying to do. And I felt, I felt positive about that meeting. And I've had so many negative experiences with so many people that anytime you get one of those, it's, it just feels like Christmas. Totally feels like Christmas. So, um, so that, that, that felt pretty good. But otherwise, just more carpentry, trying to get things together. And honestly, spring is creeping up on us. I thought it was like we're going to have a long winter, so much time to finish up everything in here. We'll just be like waiting for spring to come so we can work outside. But I think it's like a race with, race with spring at this point. So a lot, to, a lot left to do, but things are going all right. That's it. Thanks for watching.